Men, it's the moment you've been waiting for. Ladies, pass this one on. This morning, there's a new study to tell us more about why people go bald and how scientists may actually be able to reverse hair loss in the future. Medical correspondent Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here with the good. So without further ado, is this actually, this is opening the door to potentially knowing where this comes from and how we can cure it. Exactly. Exciting stuff being done at the University of Pennsylvania in a dermatology lab. And basically, they sought to answer the question, do stem cells have an effect on baldness? So they looked at bald male scalps and compared them with men with hair and they wanted to look at whether they had the same number of stem cells which are naive cells which can then go on to become other cells for example a hair follicle they were surprised to find that they had the same number of stem cells but when they looked a little closer they found that the men who were bald had fewer of a more mature type of cell and the thinking there Erica is that the stem cells somehow in some way become deactivated once you find out that something's deactivated the target there in terms of therapy, which I'm sure is going to be your next question, is can you turn it on? Can you activate it? And that's what they're going to be looking at in the future. So the answer is we're looking for more on that. Absolutely. But right now, for people who are dealing this, with this right now, because it, has, it can also have an intense psychological impact. It's yep. not just the physical. Huge. What can you do if you are dealing with baldness now for men and women? That's right, exactly. And it is a problem for both sexes. To be clear, it can cause a tremendous amount of anxiety for both men and women. There is everything from medications to hair extensions, hair pieces, weaves. You can change your hairstyle even. Mm -hmm. um, um, and in some cases, hair transplants, a lot of those therapies are very effective, but it doesn't treat the anxiety and it doesn't get, pardon the pun, at the root cause of the problem. So that's what we still need to find Absolutely. out. In terms of that anxiety, anything you can do for it? Well, I think that one important thing psychologically is to recognize that hair is very tuned in to our sense of attractiveness. There are a lot of celebrities who have made it very open about how they look, but again, beauty comes from within as well as the outside. Always good to have you with us, and good news. We'll be looking exactly. for more as they continue that you research. Bet.